The most shocking fact and interesting fact, actually, the most shocking and interesting fact about the cardiovascular exam is, no, for example, is not, uh, is that the tiny, you know, harmless looking splinters under a patient's fingernails can be a critical external sign of a deadly infection growing inside the heart. These are called so-called splinter hemorrhages. They are tiny, you know, linear streaks of blood under the fingernails or actually or two nails that run in the direction of nail growth. While they can be caused by a simple trauma, no, of course, you, you know that, like a hitting your finger with the hammer, when seen in a patient with a fever and a new heart murmur, they are a classic peripheral sign of what? Great, of infective endocarditis. So, splinter hemorrhages, fever, and new heart murmur. <coughs> infective endocarditis, as we know, is a bacterial or fungal infection of the heart valves, where clumps of bacteria and debris, we call them vegetations, grown in the valve leaflets. No, not vegetarians, vegetation, sunny. The, the splinter hemorrhages are caused by septic microemboli. Tiny pieces of the infected vegetation break off, travel through the bloodstream, and they get lodged in a small uh, capillary beds uh, of the nail bed, causing a small bleed. So, uh, it's a distant clue to a central catastrophe. Yeah, catastrophe. It's a profound example of how life-threatening problem deep inside the chest can manifest in the most distant, seemingly uh, insignificant part of the body, the fingertips. It's a sign of a systemic invasion. Finding a splinter hemorrhage means the infection is not just confined or confined to the heart valve. It's actively embolizing, showering the rest, showering the rest of the body with infected dynamites, dynamites, clots. This dramatically increases the risk of what? Of course, stroke, kidney failure, or abscesses pass in other organs. And we can say it completes the clinical picture. In a patient with vague symptoms like fever and fatigue, finding splinter hemorrhages along with other signs like, you know, January lesions or Osler's nodes can be the key pieces key piece of evidence that uh, shooting gun, huh? that elevates a simple fever of a known origin to a high suspicion case on infective endocarditis prompting an urgent echocardiogram, echocardiogram intensive care unit etc 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 get it stay blessed